and welcome everybody here in a Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more metagame, competitive metagame challenge. This time we're going to be trying Sultai Midrange. So this is basically Sultai Cavaliers that we played, um, I don't know, maybe about five, day, five days to a week ago um, that I, I really liked at the time. I thought it was very strong. I've been, I've been tuning it, and this is where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of going with Sultai Midrange instead of, uh, as far as namesake-wise, instead of calling it Sultai Cavaliers. So we're only, only down to like the five Cavaliers right now. Um, I did end up cutting the blue Cavalier, even though I like the blue Cavalier a lot, mostly for mana, uh, mostly with mana considerations, just kind of taking it down from being, having all the, the triple colors of the different, of all three colors. And because with taking that down, taking down Paradise Druid also, I wanted to be playing Llanowar Elf instead of Paradise Druid, because I wanted to have, um, while it won't be every game, but I wanted to have the games where we get to go like turn one elf, turn two Risen Reef, and start going from there. Um, even though that may not be every game. So still wanted the, the one mana card. So kind of made it basically we are green, black here, uh, just splashing blue for your Octamio and Risen Reef. And so cut the Jace that was triple blue. I uh, got a Vivian in here because I've just been really impressed with Vivian. Um, and I think Vivian can work just just fine in this kind of deck. It can put, like, if you think about the curve of going Wild Growth Walker into Jade Light Ranger, where your Wild Growth's a 3-5, and then going Vivian Ranger, or sorry, sorry Vivian Arcbow Ranger, making your 3-5 into a 5-7 with Trample. Um, could be pretty nice, giving these big Wild Growth Walkers Trample. It gives us some removal, even for Planeswalkers, with that minus 3 that we don't really have otherwise. Um, you know, we can minus five and grab Masker Girl, but we're, we're probably not doing that. We're really just doing the plus one, minus three. Um, and yeah, giving some of these other big creatures, like Cavalier Thorns is huge, giving this thing Trample. That'd be nice also. So it's just a good card. Um, gives us just some versatility. So we got that in here. And of course, our Command the Dread Horde. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how Sultai does in our competitive <clears throat> metagame challenge. So whenever we lose, we're out. Um, our we went we got to three wins with Golgari Stompy. That's the the farthest we've gone so far. Yesterday we just kept on going with two wins over and over and over again. So we got to three wins. Hopefully we can get to some of these other ones. These five, six, seven we haven't yet. Let's see if Sultai is the deck to get us there. So let's command the Dread Horde. Yeah, bird. Um, we played a we played a pretty good life gain deck that I was honestly impressed with. You know, like a week ago or so. I'll see if I can find it on the YouTube channel for you. Let's see. Uh, sure. Shouldn't be that hard to find. There it is. There we go. Memorial to glory, huh? Those who cannot, I have just the trick for this. Am I just gonna be ticking up and saying command <clears throat> immediately, or should I be saying Jade Light? So no, our, our opponent's just playing straight up. 
blue white control. My mind needs a rest. Unfortunately, our Tamiyo knocked over like these good spells, and then we're just drawing, <clears throat> drawing lands. Okay. Whatever I put counters on with Vivian is going to get bounced by the time of ice. Hey, Bertilux, thank you so much for that sub. Sub number four on the day. Thanks, Bertilux. Okay. So, yeah, it's just going to tap another thing and then return the tap creatures back to their hand. And not play it. The past keep an open mind. So pretty cool little deck here that our opponent has, just blue-white enchantment matter deck. They can of course use the seal away. Okay, they are going to do that. I was going to say, yeah, they, so they could use the seal away to save the Narset, but that gets the seal away out of there. We're going to hopefully not just, you know, have nine lands. Next time. Thoughtfulness before action. So they do get to return an enchantment card from their graveyard back to their hand with the Cavalier of Dawn dying. So there goes Time of Ice back. Yes. We're fit enough to survive. Yes, Solid did. Yeah, that's the Yeah. Check out the like I have I have, inf I have a lot of information about um, donation decks, or just donations in general, and that's that's like a deck tech. Uh, if you want me to to take a look at the deck on stream and talk about it and everything, and spend five ten minutes on it, that's um, uh, we don't have Rex Ages in this deck. Hmm. Well, that's not good. I'm not very good against enchantments here. I don't know if Veiled seems that good. They have a lot of white interaction besides just a lot of blue interaction. 
I don't know if I, I got my, already had to rest negate. I think that's probably good enough. Or like, don't need to just have too many of those spells. Yeah, best way to um, is to upload your deck list onto a site and then send me a link to that site. So an easy one to use is MTG Goldfish. And then I do... Um, I would be taking a look at that uh, between... YouTube recording, so like after we get done with Soul Time Midrange. For example, there. See if we can kind of run our opponent over with all of these things. Does it make sense to just to leave this thing alive? No, we'll just kill it. I have reached my limit. Yeah, if we lose this match, we'll try again. Yeah, yeah. If we just go one, yeah, we'll we'll load up another another one. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. I don't think my opponent is <clears throat> going to burn me out from two. Meditate and prepare. But we'll see. All right, good. Uh, this, yeah, this deck that I'm playing right now is my preferred Sultai deck right now. Whether or not it's the absolute best is, you know, I mean, likely not, but this is the Sultai list that I like that I'm, you know, playing in this metagame challenge here. Uh, 
Uh, why no Krasis or Nissa? Um, I mean, those Krasis and Nissa are just are amazing. They are, but we're going more for like the Explore plus Risen Reef um, combinations here, which, you know. can't really go wrong going with going with Nyssa and Krasis though either. Duress, right? Yeah, three duress, two negate. Seek and find. I guess maybe I should have played the explore creature first, put something on top, and then tick up and say it, but... So I can minus and grab negate. Just the trick for this. I follow the tracks of the wise. I was not prepared for this. They have four cards in their graveyard. Still a little ways from flipping the Escanta. So I could either command the Dread Horde or just minus and grab Negate again. Yeah, I'm going to get negate again. And well, it may not be as heat explosive and fun and stuff as Command the Dread Horde. Yeah, Tamio good. Alright, let's get the Orzhov Vampires starting to upload. Didn't get to do that before. Hey, we got a new sub. Let's get some hype for 6 Osaka. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. And we got a donation. All right, we got a donation for a deck tech. Thank you so much, Salad Dude. So yeah, after we get done playing Sultai here, we'll get on that. Um, guess I'm ditching the forest.
All right, we're playing against four color Dread Horde. This is the kind of matchup where playing um, Unmoored Ego to be able to name command the Dread Horde would be nice. Sorry, I'm late. There goes nothing. Alright, sorry, getting the Orzhov Vampires up on the, the YouTube channel right now. That was good. Good turn for them. And it looks like they have Command the Dread Horde. I hopefully, I sure hope they don't. I've got it. Yeah, we lost our second match with the Vampires. These metagame challenge. Once you lose your first match, you are eliminated. Before I make you disappear. Masker girl. An unfortunate casualty. That's not good for me either. But at least they're still digging to command. This might be a bad idea. Haven't found it yet. Okay. It's looking very, very bad for us. No, I don't have any Elder Spells on my sideboard. <laughs> yep, Wild Growth Walker is an elemental. Oh, I've done the 
hero thing before. All right, and here comes a whole bunch of things back. Or just dead. Hey, Audio Magics. I don't know if I want Negate because of Little Teferi. Same with Veil of Summer. Well, this is definitely Unmoored Ego take the Command the Dread Horde kind of matchup. Did, did regret keeping the Arc Bow Ranger for where we were at. Well, it's a fairy, such a beating. I got four more cards. No, we don't have any Lotus lands. Hey, Lunchbox. Probably just shouldn't even be playing the trophy. Probably should have taken that out. Just can't cast it early. Hey, three man. Congratulations. Hope you enjoy your Kalia EDH deck. Yep. Obviously, our opponent's life is great. Doing that so they have to shuffle away that Tamiya if they want the land. I do not want them having Tamiya. And looks like they do have basics. They at least have a forest and an island. I was hoping that like maybe just the forest was their only one, but they had an island also. If you show remorse, I'll show you. That's more like it. Maybe we'll draw Wild Growth Walker. That'd be nice. It's not a bad one though. Wish we had more life to Let's play with here. This. Only 11. Yeah. 
I guess our my opponent already has command. Of course they do, because I ramped him with that stupid trophy. I shouldn't have trophy in my deck. Oh no, they played Teferi. You know I know my responsibility. So two, four, nine. We're still just going to be losing this game. We're not winning this. Alright, so learn not to bring in trophy in this matchup. That card definitely hurt me. But our opponents just had very good hands. You know, they just had better hands than us, these two games. We're playing a very similar kind of deck. Their hand was better than ours. They're going to be commanding here now for a lot more. Like, they just had the aggressive start both times, which is very critical. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. All right, so we went one and one again. Uh, we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and play another one. Yeah, we... Their deck's more powerful than ours most of the time. You know, with having like those, you know, having the Teferis makes your deck pretty powerful. But of course, they have like the four colors, which can be a hindrance. Just they weren't in those games. Their mana was very good. Yeah, I'll be doing the, the deck tech after the YouTube video. Like, we're still still doing the, the, the same recording for the YouTube video. I don't want to do the deck tech in the middle of the recording. There we go. Oh, we get a good hand. I Honestly, I just probably should have mulliganed more, you know? Like, I just should have mulliganed my, my second hand, I suppose. So yeah, Salad did. If you have yeah, if you have your your list ready, feel free to just to put it in the chat, and I'll I'll have it saved, ready to go. Uh, the deck will probably completely change whenever the Explorer package goes away. It'll just be like there won't be. It's not like something you just replace. You just you're not gonna have a deck like this, or you know, it'll be it'll be a lot different kind of thing. And yeah, you know, standard's gonna be different with the new set and everything. There's not really a swap this out, put this in kind of thing. Especially whenever we only know 80% of the of the card pool right now for what's going to be going on in new standard. Witness the ties that bind so they can Okay, no, never mind. I was to say, if they, they went to the stopping ground, they could discard a land to Living Twister, but they did not decide to do that. So my option is either Wow Growth plus Jade Light, or I go double Wow Growth 
and get the two Risen Reef triggers and then be able to gain another bit of life whenever we have Jade Light next turn. Um, could just go cast down and kill this Living Twister right now. Probably kill the Living Twister. And because, like, they could have, like, a Hellkite that, like, I definitely have to kill. That'd be my one worried about using the cast down right now is a Hellkite. Hey, Rice Prophet. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube uploads. Thanks for that resub. I'm just going to kill it. Yeah, Living Twister is kind of dangerous because it shoots, you know, sh shoots Living Reef to start with, but then it can also, like, shoot my Wild Growth Walkers. Uh, they have a lot of mana with the help of Nissa and stuff, and it easily shoots Risen Reef, but then less easily, but also shoots the other things. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. The land shall conquer you. Meet my newest friend. No, Saladid, you're good. Uh, send me your send me your list though. If you can, send me the link to your deck list. But no, we're we're running another league here with Sultai. It'll be after we get done. You can just put the link here in the chat, and I'll open it up and save it. Perfect. Yeah, that's a lot of life. Just get that all back. Not bad for a mouse. So unfortunately, Omnath is legendary. We don't get to ca cast down the Omnath. Unfortunately. But, you know, if they, <clears throat> if they go make another elemental with Nyssa, play Omnath, and then have five elementals and try to shoot Wild Growth Walker, we will cast down another elemental. In response, well, I guess now I just got to kill the Risen Reef. So that's unfortunate, so they will have the five elementals still to kill Wild Growth Walker.
All right. Got to still deal with this Nissa. Rise, my elemental friend. <laughs> um. I guess we're doing this. Hey, thank you so much there, characters. <clears throat> Thanks for the deck tech donation also. All right, so we're gonna have two deck techs to do after this one, or after this uh, league here. Cool, thank you very much. We'll see if they minus eight. Um, I kind of feel like they should. Yeah, they do. This is going to be crazy Omnath triggers. It's going to be really tough. That would have been really nice to draw another black source here in Cavalier, you know, for the Cavalier Knight after we saw the Cavalier. That was a good card. But we did not draw the other land off the Risen Reef to be able to kill the Omnath. So seven triggers. All these lands are indestructible. Massacre Girl's in my sideboard, unfortunately. Not in my main deck. Not sure why they tapped the 6-5 instead of a 4-3. I guess they are going to just tap the 4-3 also. I guess that's why. Game's not over. We don't have a too great of a chance we do. All right, so 27. So 3, 8, 9, uh, 8 plus 4 is 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. 25. Together, we will prevail. Uh, yeah. We're gonna deck ourselves. Who are we targeting? We're dealing damage equal to what? How many elementals we control? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven damage. I guess I just kill Nissa. Uh, graveyard. Hmm. This can go get Massacre Girl. Let's just go library. Better not run out of time here. Alright, we're gonna have to do some space barring. 
You have to click done for every single one of these. Give me a break. Uh, take action. Enter's tapped. Are you kidding me? Target an elemental. I don't know, man. Let's target something. Uh, decline. Oh, I want that land. Give me that. Yeah, whatever. Take action. I don't know. Uh, you. Oh wait, let's make these things bigger. Yeah, I'm probably going to deck myself. I think that's the most likely outcome here. Fight on without me. I I guess I should have played this other Wild Breath Walker first. Forgot we had so much mana. Yeah, Omnath's not a May either. Just draw a card. more do I need to discard? 15? No, not you. I'm just clicking cards. Is this 15 yet? How is this still not 15? What, what haven't I discarded? You? 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 Uh, sure, you? Uh, am I not discarding enough cards yet? What haven't I clicked? You? Ah, give me that Cavalier of Night back. Take this Cavalier of Thorns. I don't want these Cavalier of Thorns. Kill one of my Risen Reefs. I must seek comfort in the land. Cool. I couldn't play lands anyway. Please attack with your indestructible creatures. I have a plan. I don't know if my plan's gonna work, but I have a plan. I 
will protect the virtue of this world. Plan is go grab. I have two plans. I can either play this, tick up one turn, the next turn, minus go grab, Masker Girl, kill all these indestructible lands and stuff. And then after that, command the Dreadhorde back a whole bunch of stuff. That plan's probably not going to work. Other plan is command the Dreadhorde this Vivian and sit around and tick up this Vivian like three times, and then ultimate Vivian. I don't know if that plan's going to work either. Nine's not a lot of cards. You rock into Omnath. Uh, deals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, actually, that plan actually just works. Okay, never mind. That that plan works. Uh, how do we kill the Omnath? Or wait, we don't have. How do we get an Omnath though? I gotta get this Cavalier of Night. Dang it, shouldn't have discarded Cavalier of Night. It was too hard to see the cards that I was discarding. I didn't want these thorns. I wanted a knight. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 mana. So we need 4 plus 5 is 9. Ugh, that's 15. I can only go Tamio Cavalier command. Um, so I guess I have to wait till next turn. Wait. No, Vivian. Vivian works. Okay. So we have Vivian. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Kill Omnath. I'm just hoping they don't have an instant. They're acting like they have an instant. We, we know they have like the Trailblazer activation, which would technically stop stuff. I don't know if they have other instants. Yeah, I might run out of time. You picked the wrong fight. Oh, I don't have any timeouts or anything, do I? So I got to do this fast. How many elementals do I have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be number nine. So Omnath will be number ten. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just click it. It's fine. Whatever. Why do they have to, like, reshow your cards? All right. Command. All right, so one. So that's four. Your graveyard. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, get this thing too. No, I need all these explore things. Look at that. If I would have just got Omnath, maybe I didn't have enough. All right. Uh, you, you go to the top. Go to the top. Why are there, why are there two Omnath triggers that say that? I don't know. You go up here. Keep coming. Oh, 
Oh, right, because of your rock. That's why there's two. Nailed it. Always had it. Wasn't close. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers there, Jelly. Y'all were telling me to concede. All right, so bringing in these Masker Girls. They're probably pretty good. Um, I don't know if we really need anything else, TBH. I don't know if we really need anything else. Yeah, just the Masker Girls. Armagillis! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. I don't know if Cry the Carnarium is actually really that good for us. A lot of their things have three toughness, including all the Nissa lands and everything. No, there's not really anything done more to go. It's like Omnath or something. Um, I guess... I'm not sure, really sure what I want to cut. I guess a Thorns... Cast down. This kills Omnath. I'll we'll cut a cast down. Ah, oh, well, thank you so much, Armagillus. Armagillus. There we go. I'm glad you uh, decided to subscribe. I really appreciate that. So we're at six subscribers of the day. Or that was number seven. I was behind one. That was number seven. So we're three away from our first sub goal. If we hit two sub goals, that's getting to 20 subs today. We're doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. So this is a perfect day to subscribe because we're at right now we're at 18 out of 20 sub goals to get to the 12-hour stream. So if you're enjoying the stream, uh, definitely consider hitting that sub button. Get all the awesome emotes. Judgmental Squirrel joining the party. Y'all get some hype votes in the channel for Judgmental Squirrel. Thank you so much. Um, let's go with you. And Ickfred. All right, that gets us up to nine. Ickfred, you are amazing. Same with you, Judgmental Squirrel. Y'all are rock stars. Uh, no, I had no... No, did not consider Embodiment of Agonies in this deck. It is, it is very good whenever you, you know, you're in the late game and you've already filled your graveyard up a bunch with Tamiyo and everything, but that's... Um, those kind of games are where we're doing good anyway. When we're in like the late game and filled our graveyard with Tamiyo, like that's that's like where we are already doing just fine. Hmm. Getting real greedy here. Your rock plus disinformation campaign. Okay. That sounds pretty sweet. I d have not thought about that whatsoever, but I like where your head's at. Doc Doctor! Getting us to the first sub goal. So we'll be cracking a pack after this. That's sub goal number 19 overall. I'll mark that down. So one more sub goal tonight, and we're doing a 12 hour stream tomorrow. Thanks for joining in, Doc Doctor. Boo. Boo. Opponent hates fun. Confirmed.
Whoa, Sonic Bob. We had first we had but okay. So that that gets us our 20s. Wow. Okay, first we had between 3 and 25 characters with the sub. Thank you so much there. And then Sonic Bob bringing in all the hype. Gifting out 10 subs. So epic. Everybody, get your hype votes in the chat. Thank you so much, Sonic Bob. Where are my foil ones? Yeah, we need to foil this out. what they do? They just played a Risen Reef? Man, that is a good card. Oh, they coiled my Jade Light. Yeah, I thought I thought I had another creature out. Okay, they coiled my Jade Light. Gotcha. Hey, Backender. And Razu and Backender. Everybody's getting on in here. <laughs> Yeah, Grixis. Um, yeah, like the Risen Reef kind of card advantage and everything really hurt Grixis after M20. It's harder to win the long games. So reasoning for not playing out all of my creatures each turn uh that that turn i already knew that the the card i had on top was a card that i wanted to draw and so i didn't want to just kind of waste the explore triggers that jade light ranger provided yeah we're gonna be cracking two packs good call there we hit two sub goals let's hit crack two packs after this and now we're going to be going towards our next 20 for our next 12-hour stream. But yeah, all right, 12-hour stream tomorrow. So I'm thinking for for tomorrow's stream day, because the competitive metagame challenge here won't be a thing. So I'm thinking... Let's get you, you. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Theme-wise, I'm thinking like Sunday fun day of playing some hey jm ah now they had negate dang it the only card that could hold us down that's really unfortunate jmc hugh getting more hype votes in the channel there you go, Sonic Bob. You had, you had a 12-hour workday today, so now I have to have a 12-hour workday tomorrow. Um, boo. I didn't even realize that they just let the Nissa die. So yeah, Sunday Fun Day, we'll replace some, some more out-there brews. Yeah, maybe not the absolute most competitive stuff. Mm. We, can, we have a lot better draw steps than that.
Yippee Kai yeah. Just keeping that hype going. Poor MTG bot not being sub right now. Didn't get it in all these hype boats. But MTG bot should be back soon. Satat. Man, yeah, this has been so crazy. Yeah, that's a good call, Kitty Dexterity. Some kind of sound cue for whenever we hit a sub goal or a 26 or a 12 hour uh, stream. All right, well, they're stabilizing. Yeah, the last 15 minutes has been, yeah, crazy. Let's see what we get to top deck here. I definitely regret not keeping that Risen Reef right about now, but I don't know. We would have just drawn the Masker Girl, and then I would have just not played the Masker Girl. Well, Masker Girl would be good right now. Yeah, that last game was pretty crazy. Dang. More lands, no. <laughs> Sneaky Pepper! Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Sneaky Pepper. Five more subscribers. All right, so that's our first sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. One out of 20 there now. So let's update this. We need to stop drawing these lands. Twelve hour stream tomorrow. Uh twelve to twelve, I guess. Starting at noon Eastern. Dirty Groblin. Groblin. Thank you so much for that subscriber as well. Uh, no, I I cannot do a, a um, twenty four hour stream. I am not just just physically. I I can't stay up for twenty four hours. This is not good for us. They could block with everything and kill the wild growth walker. We'll see if they're like scared of a removal spell though. Yeah, but I like getting that Omnath out of there, though, because that, that Omnath, every single land drop, uh, puts starts putting counters on their creatures, and, you know, in in not too long, um, they're going to be able to draw cards off Omnath also. Yeah, Elijah, to upgrade your sub, um, I think if you just go 
go i think if you click like the gift a sub kind of thing if you click there i think there's an option to upgrade oh my gosh this is so sad how this game ended with all this sub hype come on kitty I'm I'm pretty sure my opponent has another negate in hand that they've been waiting on. Like I, I think they just have a negate. But it's just all lands over here for us. Yeah, that that last round was insane. Yeah, I think somebody sent the clip of that that last round, that last game that we just had. Um, Harness the elements. If you have that clip for that last game, make sure to put it in the Discord channel. There's a there's a place for highlights in the Discord channel. If you have that clip. I was a little busy. I didn't open up that clip. No, nah, we don't have any crises. I mean, I'm just dead, dead to Nissa ult with Omnath, right? Not <clears throat> necessarily dead. Because, yeah, Command the Dread Horde. Can get Masker Girl. For those who are worthy. Yeah, we need to get, like, another creature plus Masker Girl. Depends on what they do with all these triggers and everything they're going to get. Like, they'll draw another seven cards. I'm assuming one of those is negate. Maybe I should be boarding in some duresses here. I guess I guess them negating my Command the Dread Horde is how they win. So I guess maybe I should be bringing in some duresses to protect Command the Dread Horde. So time-wise, they're at 12 and a half minutes. I'm at 18. I'm at the War of 1812. 12.30. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, a YouTube highlight compilation would be good. I don't know how to do that. I would like to do that in the future. I don't know how to... I'm not... I don't know anything about video editing. So I'm not... I'm not an editor. So that's 23. That's 22, I mean. Yeah, we block 8. It's 22. Where would I fit in, you know, Duress, Negate, Veil of Summer, something like that? Where would I fit that in? I guess a Branch Walker. Yeah, the yeah, sealed the the whole easily look through and make a compilation. I don't know how to make a compilation. I don't know how to do vid video editing. Yeah, definitely care about Land War Elf. Need to be fast. And Land War Elf is a good creature to have if Masker Girl is a plan. It's good to have one ones. But yeah, you yeah, you got to be fast. Land War Elf's good. Not as much right here. I probably should be keeping that Cavalier Knight, shouldn't I? 
It's like next turn I'm going Land of War, and then the next turn you rock, and then the next turn Cavalier of Night. Hey, Legend. Yeah, yeah, ten turn yeah, ten turn one green sources is a bit low for Land of War. It is. But that's what I got. Seek shelter hmm. in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Yeah, it didn't attack for five there. Also, I should just be attacking them. They just have one card left. I think we can cover everything that's on the battlefield here. We'll see what their last card is, see if it's like a negate or something. Alright, so this thing costs four mana to activate. So they would have to start tapping some of these lands, or I guess they, they got the Leaf Kindreds. Um... Let's go with the Yurok. This will be worse for me if they have... They do have Negate. It's always Negate. Because not having Yurok. Uh, I guess I could Cavalier Thorns... And Branch Walker first, I suppose. And if if they negate the, the command the dread horde, they can win. If they don't have negate, they're they're just gonna lose. Oh, man, this is such a big negate. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, they're definitely just saying, hey, I have I have negate kind of thing. Man, this is unfortunate. 
We just keep on drawing lands too, just like last game. Can't we just draw something else? Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess we have to go for it. Yeah, it'd been so nice to draw any, you know, like yeah, cast down to kill the temple. Um, because yeah, they're just gonna ultimate this Nissa this next turn. Bleh. I mean, if they if they don't have, if they don't have it, they're dead. If they have it, I'm dead. They had it. Dang. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I'm gonna get this cavalier to die. Cause like, if I'm them, I'm not. I'm making sure the cavalier doesn't die. But if if we can get the cavalier to die, then we can try again. But we may not have very much life. Yeah, we have we have three command the dreadhords in the deck. Life cannot be denied. They're just gonna draw infinite cards here, though. Yeah, we're like. Attacking Nissa with Cavalier gives them a really easy chump block, and then it makes their attack a whole lot better. That's that's not a good idea to to attack have Cavalier attack Nissa. Yeah, could, yeah. So we could draw another command. We could draw Masker Girl. We need to draw one of those two cards. Or Tamio. Yeah, Tamio gets there if I don't block with Lanwar Elf. So two commands, two Tamiyo, two Masker Girl, so that's six cards. Uh, that which cannot protect itself. Now they have blue mana available, so now they could have another counter spell. Dang. Well, we might as well just go for it again. Hope they didn't draw a counter spell out of those eight cards. These lands are indestructible, by the way. So 5, 10, 15, 18, 20, 23, 26, uh, 28, 31. Go to the opponent's graveyard. Let's not play the. Let's not get that thing. So that's 26. I guess we're not going to get this thing so that two lightning strikes don't kill me. So that's 25. Uh, 
Dang. I really didn't think we would be losing that match, but, I mean, looking back at it for how those games two and three, as just like I, I mean, I, I mentioned it whenever we were sideboarding there for game three, that the game was really if they could counter, like if they countered Command the Dread Horde, they could win. If they didn't, they weren't going to win. That's kind of how the, the game was. So I guess I, I need to bring in more Duress Veil in the gate. You know, I guess that's, you know, I pointed out like that's what the game was going to be. And so I should have should have brought those in. And yeah, maybe just cutting Llanowar off was the thing to do. That was going to be... Yeah, I mean, I, I regret that. So I think if you play this deck, you play that same kind of matchup. I think you should be boarding out Lanoir Elf in that kind of ma in that matchup and have the Duress Veil of Summer negate. So that's the thing we learn. And um, we learn and, and, you know, you adapt and everything. Uh, it's always, you know, it's... <sighs> that's that's what magic's all about and <laughs> the problem with playing so many decks like i do is you know I'll learn that know that for next time but you know next time i play the deck maybe in a little while and you know maybe that situation will kind of come up again but yep that's what we gotta do all right let's crack three packs good call there i'm running out of gold um, no, don't quite have enough gems. All right, crack three packs for hitting three sub goals here. Yeah, honestly, maybe maybe keeping that black knight on top would have made the difference. Maybe, possibly. Not a mythic. Come on, we need a mythic. Nope. Couple of rares. Let's see if we get a mythic. Yay! Cavalier Knight. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so that's uh, Sultai mid range. Uh, even though we didn't put up the best results here, I guess we went one two with the deck overall. Um, I don't know. I, I like the deck. I think it's strong. I think we were a little unlucky in spots, and I could have played better in spots also. Uh, could have sideboarded better there. I was overconfident that we were going to be winning that match and didn't sideboard well enough. Lesson to learn. All right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, though, I hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that uh, like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Sultai, for Sultai Midrange uh, in the competitive metagame challenge. And I will see you for the next video.